the endearing feature about all living things, not only human beings, living things, is there is tremendous, if you like, compassion for the near and dear ones. It starts with the near and dear ones. You see an animal with a little child, the animal will kill itself to protect and look after the child, and sometimes starve itself to look after the baby. So, if you like, this is a natural endearing feature to the whole living kingdom. And you might say, why? Why should we bother? Let them die. Well, who cares? The answer is this. There is a link with you here with the rest of the living kingdom and this link becomes much more clearly visible with your near and dear ones. Less visible with people who are far away, means further away from you. So the near and dear ones you kind of subscribe to, you love them and this shows, if you like, the natural link you already have with the, if you like, the other living, uh, living things, including your family. So it's an endearing thing, a positive thing, showing in a way, if this is what humanists don't have. If you ask the British humanists, why should you look after others? You say, well, we just want to, you know, kind of preserve the genetic pool. We say, no. The thing that is linking you with other living things is something called the spirit that underpins reality is not material and the way it reflects, it, it, it kind of expresses itself is this compassion that you feel. It's not because it's coming out of some material uh, you know, uh, uh, phenomena. It's a non-material phenomena, a spiritual phenomena revealing itself a natural love for your near and dear ones. free e-learning course in Hinduism. To register, please visit www.hindu-academy.com. Talks on Hinduism. Sponsored by People Care. Encouraging caring for the elderly in their own homes. For more information, please visit peoplecare.com.